All right, we are meeting with Elaine Hayes, who is running for city council. This one. Correct. Okay. Um, what led you to want to run? Well, Amarillo has been my home for the last 31 years. Uh, my husband and I have been married for that, that time period. He's actually an Amarillo boy, and we've raised our four children here. And this was an opportunity for me to step in and give back to this community that has given a tremendous amount to our family personally. Okay. Um, what's the first thing that you want to address if you were up to be elected? Well, a couple of things. The reason I stepped in the race, I'm a certified financial background, and um, or actually I said I'm a certified financial planner. So my background is in uh, budgeting, goal setting, prioritizing, and figuring out how to identify your main needs and wants and then figure out how to pay for them. And when the last bond proposals came out and I looked at the list, it just, it reminded me of a client that walks in my office and says, I would like to save for retirement. I would like to put three kids through college. We're considering adding on to the house. And we've always talked about taking a trip to Hawaii. And none of those are bad ideas. They're good ideas. You just can't do them all at the same time. And so that was one of the first things that was just a, a major problem that I saw that city council has to take leadership in identifying our priorities and then figuring out how to pay for them. Okay. Um, now, city council lately has been pretty dysfunctional, to say the least. What would you do to kind of remedy that? Our city council actually has a current code of conduct. And one of the things that is required in that is, of course, discussion in a civil and respectful manner. But then once a decision is made and you have a majority vote, that there's a stipulation you unify behind that. So I'm all for open discussion, again, in a respectful manner, considering that a lot of times people have the same goal. They may just have a different idea and you know, plans on getting there. But you, dis you discuss it. But then once you take a vote, you move forward. So it's easy to divide a city. But it's very powerful if you will unite the city. Okay. Um, a lot of focus has been on downtown revitalization. What about some of the other areas of the city? Well, uh, absolutely. Especially North Amarillo has been very overlooked. We've had discussions on things that the needs in that area, but we haven't done anything about it. It's another uh, facet of financial planning and fiscal responsibility. We're not short on good ideas right now. We have some really good plans, but you have to prioritize and you have to figure out how to pay for it to ever get those ideas across the finish line. And that is one of the strengths that I feel I bring to the table. Okay. Um, if you were to be elected, how approachable would you be? Would you be a people's candidate? I think I'm very approachable based on where my support comes from that I have people from all different sectors of the city and areas that they kind of a lot of times are in their own little camps and circles but they support me because they know I listen that I don't have a specific agenda that I'm not uh, being approached by people just assuming that I have a set uh, you know only one route to an end pursuit and so it's I do think people see that I listen that I'm willing to tell them the truth. I'm willing to say, this is where I'm coming from, this is how I see this now, but I'm open to uh, having my opinion changed. Okay, uh, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for coming in, Elaine. All right, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it.